Hey everyone, my name is Tori, and I want to talk to you about... Hey everyone, this is Tori, and today I will be giving you the top 10 ways to ask that special someone to prom. Number 10. If you're cheap but want to make a lasting impression, that's sure to get a laugh. Then go to a store and see if you can get an employee to ask for you. Hey, did you guys happen to check out my new YouTube video I posted last night? That was on, um... Top 10 ways to ask someone to prom. Yeah, I saw it. Did you like it? Share it? Have you even subscribed to my channel yet? Sorry, Tori, no. I'll do it right now. Come on, Tori, she obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, I don't. I don't want to be notified every single time you post a YouTube video. I have better things to do with my time. But I thought you guys were my friends. We are your friends, but that doesn't mean we want to see notifications of all the stuff you post. It's stupid. But this is something I really want to do. I mean, if 100 views is worth it to you, then knock yourself out. It's actually got 121 views right now. Whatever. <laughs> So how about I was scrolling through Snapchat while I was, you know, trying to find a place to park and almost ran over Mark Hadley. Another second and that would have been bad. Oh my God, did you see that Johnny Masgrove asked Maria Stills to prom? Look. Hmm, so when can we go dress shopping? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, prom is still three weeks away, so we have time. Okay, so you have to study hall. Okay. Hey everyone, in case you haven't heard, Tori posted a new video on YouTube and it's about prom and it's really good. So make sure you go like it and don't dislike it like I did. Hey, you stealing my outlet? My phone's dead. I need a place to charge it. Did you see the video I posted on Snapchat last night? No, I actually gave up Snapchat for a while. What'd you do that for? One day I was just thinking about how much time I was taking up. I was taking like three hours a day on Snapchat. That's like 21 hours a week. Yeah, I'm guilty of that as well. There's just a lot of other things I'd like to do with my time. Like what? Well, uh, I've been trying to run every other day and uh, I'm actually working on a video game. Like coding and stuff? Yeah. Check out some characters I've been working on. That's pretty cool. I wish I could give up Snapchat. I bet you could. I can't. I literally don't know what I'd do without it. <laughs> so what's our YouTube channel? Are you even allowed to be on YouTube? Ha, <laughs> funny. I'm not living in the dark ages. It's Tori's story. That story with an I at the end. Huh, clever. Oh wow, you've almost got a thousand views. Really? Let me see. But wait. Why are so many people disliking it? I don't know. There's a lot of people saying nasty things in the comments, too. I got some homework to do. Can you keep an eye on my phone? Yeah, no problem. Oh, hey, sweetie. How was school today? It was fine. Good. Hey, listen, I got on your YouTube channel earlier today, and um, I thought it'd be a good idea to send your video to Grandma. 
but I couldn't find it. Yeah, I deleted it. Are we out of milk? I wanted to eat some cookies. Um, no, it's up there on the top shelf. There you go. Yeah, so why did you delete it? It wasn't that good, so I deleted it. Well, I watched it earlier today and I thought it was really good, but I did notice that there were some people saying some mean stuff on there. Do you want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. It's just kids in high school being stupid. Is that why you don't want to get out of bed for school in the morning? I don't want to get out of bed in the morning because I'm tired. And why are you so tired all the time? I don't want to talk about this, Mom. Well, you know what? You need to talk to somebody about this. Listen, I've got a friend who knows this counselor, and I can try and call and, and have you talk to her. I'm not going to talk to a random person about my problems. Well, I'm going to call tomorrow and set up an appointment. I'm not going to do that. Oh, man. Hey, Ashley, why'd you go dress shopping without me last night? Sorry, Tori. It's just that um, they said they didn't want you to go, and I didn't even get my dress last night. But um, how about we go another night? Is that all right? Yeah, okay. I can't believe you went without me. Hey, check this out. Would you be interested in this? What is it? It's called the Friends for Friends campaign. I don't know much about it yet, but the teacher was saying this organization comes in and they have this really big YouTube channel and they work with us to make a short film. It sounds pretty cool and you like doing videos and stuff, so. Seems cool. I don't know how you did it. Did what? Give up Snapchat. It's not that bad, actually. You don't realize how much time you spend just thinking about it until you give it up. And I'll probably get it back in like a week or so, but for now my counselor just encouraged me to give it up for a bit. And I noticed I feel better, I guess. You go to see a counselor? Yeah. It's been helpful, you know? Last year I was really depressed about stuff. Really? You always seem so happy. Yeah, I know. Last year was really hard for me, though. Like, I never wanted to leave my house. Depression runs in my family, actually. Like, my dad has it. My mom wants me to go see a counselor. I feel anxious all the time, like something bad is going to happen, or like the feeling you get when you're about to take a big test. Except I feel like that all the time, and my friends just make it worse. It's been good for me. I follow a lot of celebrities, like football players, and they've always got these nice cars and clothes and stuff. I just feel like I'll never measure up. Yeah, I know what you mean. Maybe it's time you take a break. Hey, Mark, I think I'm going to do that Friends for Friends thing. Cool. I did it. I took a break from Snapchat, and I'm happy to report that life goes on. All right, Tracy, you're gonna be the bully in this scene. I decided to do the Friends for Friends campaign. No, 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 I've been learning a lot, and it's been really cool making some new friends. Mark encouraged me to go talk to a counselor, and as much as I didn't want to go, I'm glad that I did. One thing that my counselor helped me to realize was how much my phone was interrupting my sleep. So now, I don't sleep with my phone, and I feel a lot more recharged in the morning. Oh, hey, Mark, I kind of wish I was still on Snapchat, because prom this year is going to be so amazing. But I guess it's alright. I don't need to document the whole thing on my phone. It's fun just being there, all in the moment. If your friend is feeling stressed, ask your friend. You seem stressed lately. How have you been feeling? Let her share her thoughts and feelings without making her feel like an outsider. Be available to listen if she wants to talk further. Encourage your friend and her goals. Urge her to think critically about using her time wisely. Maybe it is time to take a break from social media. Encourage her to live life in the moment, not online. In an empathetic tone, tell your friend that she should talk to her parents, guardian, or a trusted adult if she continues to feel stressed or has trouble sleeping so she can get the support and guidance she may need.